Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nitro Storm here. Welcome back to Revived Witch. So sorry for being slightly inactive this week. You know, I've been a little bit busy. However, just to make it up to you guys, there's a lot of new stuff going on. So I'm going to try and concentrate all of them into this video. So first of all, there's a new summon with uh, a new version of Tonel. She is a tank uh, Mercury element. If we can see here, as you can see, she's got a pretty nice first skill, only two costs to give everyone a shield and everyone gets uh, an attack boost if they're protected by shield based on Toenail's max HP. And if that shield breaks, they also get healed. So she's pretty much a buffer, healer and a protector in like one skill. And on the second skill, there's no charge skill this time, but she will attack all enemy with magic damage equal to half of her max HP whilst stunning them for one second and then giving them a debuff, which reduces their magic defense by 30%. It's not based on her magic defense and also decreases their damage dealt by 30 seconds, by 30%. So this is pretty, it's pretty decent debuff. Um, It's not as strong as um other magic debuffers, for example, uh, Maya, and uh, a Fallen. However, she has very, very strong defensive capabilities that still has a good amount of buffing. And then for the passive is very defensive. So in my opinion, she's pretty good when it comes to very, very, very hard hitting enemies. Might be good for path not taken, perhaps, possibly. And for PvP, she might be a good stall character as well. And that's all I've got to say. And then Mine also have a rerun along with her exclusive weapon. And what this exclusive weapon does basically is that when she uses a skill, like her own skill, to deal magic damage, there's an 11% chance of inflicting extra magic damage equal to 300% of Mine's attack to all enemies. So if you notice, Mine's, you know, mostly, I mean, she's pretty much only single target, and this will add a bit of AOE to her attacks. I'm not sure how much that's necessary, but the extra damage is always nice, especially if you're trying to do magic, trying to do big magic DPS. All right, so for the shop, they also added a lot of stuff in the uh, pack store. So a lot of stuff in the limited time packs. We've got all of these uh, fortune related lucky stuff, you know, for Chinese New Year. And they mostly give these, uh, lot, these dumplings. And what they do is for the event, which I'll explain in a bit, but in terms of which packs are worth, I mean, in terms of the very, very whale packs, I'm not really sure. But when it comes to pulls, I will say this is the most worth one. Um, unfortunately, you can only get one of these. And then they also added uh, some journey packs, or maybe they added the, these a while back, but they added Ascension Ultimate um, equipment and some of these as well. And maybe these came out during the uh, Path Not Taken, but you know, they're pretty decent as well. Right now, speaking of the event, We've got something called B-Strike. This appeared a, a few days ago on the 25th of January. So apologies for being late for this. But essentially, there's B-Strike Festive Gift, which has two different packs. Um, in terms of which one to buy, um, I'm not really sure in terms of money, but I would say if you're a whale, these would be, uh, I would say these would be definitely worth. Uh, I guess especially this one, since you can choose a doll that you don't have for the selector, or you can even choose a dupe, you know, if you're going for the evolution, but well, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy whale talk. And then there's also a red envelope part of the event, which is not un available yet. So we're only at B strike. And this is essentially just a way for you to attack enemies. I mean, attack the boss with certain elements that they're afraid of. And you have, if, if your whole team has that same element all throughout, then you will deal 50% more damage. And unfortunately, I'm not really good at the moment in terms of this event because I don't have a good Mercury team on my free-to-play account, so it feels bad for that. But I would highly recommend using full uh, Mercury on this uh, enemy. I know that Toenail is very strong, but if you have the charge skill users, for example, uh, Amanami and Arcana, they're both good enough to be paired with someone like Maya to do big damage. I think enough for 20 million, 20 million damage even without uh, Sir Sivi and, and uh, Saltstone Tonel. All right, so I think that is um, everything covered, actually, when it comes to the new stuff. So they, they added the new stop, a new shop, a new event uh, recently with a new summon and uh, with new and that's about it. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, quick video just to make up for the uh, 
missing days of me uploading a video. Uh, I'll, I'll upload some uh, video in terms of the broken land uh, soon because I haven't done it yet. So I'll follow you for being late there again. In any case, let me know if, if I missed anything in terms of recent update. Uh, when it comes to the update that came alongside the new toenail, let me know down in the comments below. It's been your boy Nigel Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.